you see, I, I really go way back with you. I mean, I, way back to to Dog Face. What was what was it? Uh, Pee Wee Herman. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> to to one of my favorite roles uh, when you played Finster and right, right, right. the Suspects. So it's a pleasure for me to be across from you. But uh, thank you. This is a. I mean, you did so many great movies from Traffic, to Fear and Loaded. I can name them all. But to be in the Marvel universe, how how was that feeling for you to be in this? You know, it's a uh, it's a uh, it's almost like a you know as you you're an actor and you like you go from one movie to the next it's different it's always a different group it's, it, I, I think it would be like being a being a baseball player and you're getting traded every time you play and uh, being traded to a Marvel movie is like being traded to the Yankees you know yeah, at, at yeah. their height yeah you yeah. know so it's really nice to be they really care they try to get the best out of you I mean, James Gunn, definitely the director, was doing that with me and uh, and the Marvel group. So it's it feels it feels good to be in a, in a, in, in in their movies in a, in a, in a James Gunn movie in a Marvel yeah. movie, um, and uh, especially when the movie works. Yeah, you know. Now, I know you weren't into the comic books before, but when you found out that you got the part, or when you was getting ready for the part, did you? Did you peek into any comic books? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I yeah. did, I did. I, I wanted to find out about this guy, and I found out a couple things about him. You know, I'm, I got a, a sequence in the yeah. in the movie, so so I, I my research was a little bit loaded for that sequence. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, you do, and you start like uh, you know, you go, wow, this character has been around for a long time. Yeah. So when, I, when I seen cool. the Nugget in Thor, I was like, wow, there's Benicio here. Yeah. What's, what's his role gonna be? But when I found out that you was gonna be the collector, I was like, oh, that's a great role for you. So if you were a collector here and, and you could have your own private museum and have like all the world's greatest treasures, no matter how big, like what's some of the things that you would be collecting here? In the, in the planet Earth? Yeah, on planet Earth. Uh, you know, Muhammad Ali's uh, <laughs> Muhammad shoes, Ali's anything, 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 right? anything yeah. Um, uh, you know, you know, I would, uh, you know, I would collect, I would collect. Uh, I think art would be kind of cool to collect, but I think that, you know, I collect stuff. Yeah. Sure. But but I'm no, I, I, I'm kind of like a half-ass collector. You know, I collect <laughs> for a little while and then I stop collecting. But what happens is that most of the stuff that I collect, you know, goes into the closet, takes space, and collects dust. Yeah. And uh, you know so. But, you know, I, I have some, I got cards, basketball cards. You, you used to play basketball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, did you, I just, you still I just, go down the court a little bit? Of... I, I don't go down the court, but I watch, I, I love watching the NBA. Yeah. I, just, uh, I just love it. I can watch NBA TV all day long, you know. Yeah. It's just like, all right, all right yeah. last question. So, so Chris Pratt has this mixtape that he's going through all through the whole movie. If you could just put a couple of songs on your all-time mixtape what would those songs be that, would... that you were supposed to ask me simple questions man <laughs> they um, tell you this was the it's, hard it's question just <laughs> it's so difficult to just pick like you know just one it has to be your like, favorite, uh, it has to be a I mean, couple of favorites i mean there's 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 you know there's there's so many you know like songs you know um you know i don't know i just uh you know I would have to go back. First show I ever saw was Barry White. Yeah. You know, oh, so okay. I have to pick something. It was the first live show I ever saw. So it's gotta be some and, Barry and White. And so I have to pick something from Barry White. Then I've been listening to the Rolling Stones my whole life. Yeah. So I have to pick something from the Stones. And then once you open that bag there, now, <laughs> you know, growing up in Puerto Rico, I gotta pick something from the Fine All Stars or from, you know, uh, or, you know, then then I then I'm then it becomes wow. Then I go Hendrix. I go, oh, I go the Who. I go I go. You know I just you know jazz. Miles Davis. You know well, I'll take that Bitches Bruise album. Dang, there you go. That's really <laughs> like I, I I've been listening to that for a long time. Like, it's been a pleasure, man. Yeah, it's great to see you too, man. Thank you. Yeah. You're watching Black Tree on TV, only on Soul of the South.